Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Pokemon PvP Battle Sale of Battle Against Price 800. It's using a recolor animated Aura Scizor. Looks like it's tinted as well. Um, a recolor Clefki, which he, uh, he actually told me that uh, he um, copied off of me. Um, a recolor Lucario, a recolor Volcarona, a recolor Hydreigon, and a recolor Latias. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty scary team to be honest. Um, we have to hit, we can't really hit the Lucario to help our Venomoth, we can't really hit uh, Volcarona to help our Ven Venomoth either. But I think Venomoth will help a little bit with the Latios, uh, sorry not Latios, Latias and the Hydreigon. So, yeah, um, I, if he really copied my Klefki, I have to save my Scavalier, not Scavalier, my Escadrill for that. So, uh, or if you use Hariyama uh, with the Flame Out, although um, I, if he gets a Thunder Wave off, it's going to be very bad. Um, what should I lead things off with? I'm not too sure. Let's lead things off with Azumaru. He has not chosen his Pokemon himself. Okay. Um, I thought I was taking quite long, but he's okay. All right. So um, starting things off, leading things off with Azumaru. He's gonna lead things off with the Hydro. This is the perfect start for us. We can just go for the clear off and take it out. Um, I don't think he gets Thunderbolt. He might have Thunderfang, but. Physical Hydrogon doesn't really hit too hard. Um, if he if he stays in, I'll be kind of shocked. Um, but I'm just gonna go for it anyway. He has three Steel types on his team. I sure have probably gone for the knock off. Um, that's fine. Uh, if he swaps, that's fine. Um, cause um, are you gonna make a move? If he swaps out, it's fine. Cause um, we can we can uh, easily counter that as well. Then we going for the earthquake, so it's a physical hydro gun. As you can see, it doesn't really hit too hard. Going for the play rough, no sash, just gonna go down because it's tight as well, weak to fairy. Um, yeah, hydro gun is very, very weak to fairy, and I, uh, the new Pokemon from Generation 7, uh, I believe his name is Komo O, it's a dragon fighting type, also tight as well, weak to uh, fairy, which is, yeah, with the amount of fairies going around. Um, yeah, you're not gonna want to, um, you're not gonna want to run those type of Pokemon, unless you have a counter for them, like, uh, Flash Cannon, that would be pretty good, but Azumiro is water, water and Fairy, and, uh, not to mention it's Natural Bulk, it can take a Flash Cannon pretty well, unless it's that, so it's gonna be a Mega Latias, um, that's pretty interesting, I guess, the UFO actually changed from the left to the right side, um, so he's gonna be going for the Calm Mind, that's not a good choice, mate, uh, I've, Clear off on my Azumarill, so yeah. Now my Venomoth is pretty much useless. So, <laughs> um, I mean, like Venomoth can actually help with the Volcarona a, a little bit because Volcarona has um slower base speed, uh, lesser base speed. He's gonna be going to the um his Clefki now. I can swap easily swap into Escadrill and go for the Earthquake because none of his Pokemon can tank an Earthquake to save their own lives. Actually, they can a little bit, but not exceedingly well. It will take still take a massive chunk of health out of them. So it's gonna be going to be Clefki. I mean, I, I'm gonna go into Escap Escadrill. Not uh, I'm. Oh my god, my commentary sucks. All right, he's gonna swap into Volcarona. Volcarona has some very poor defenses, um, and Escadrill has a very high base power, higher than even Garchomp. So that's definitely the Volcarona down. If he goes into the um Lucarion, might want to swap into the Um the Azumaro again. He does go into Lucario. Okay, that's a smart choice. I could go into Venomoth, but um Venomoth isn't really that tanky. Let's take a look at its defenses. Yeah, it's really really not that great, but um let's just swap into the Azumaro now. Even the um Iron Tail shouldn't hit us too hard. And it's it's a mega Lucario, which I'm pretty sure he mega his Latias pre uh, before it. So there's no way it's a Mega Lucario. So I'm um, gonna make a move. Um, um, yeah, if you go for close combat, that'll be even better because we're gonna be able to swap out. Go for day 1 4 and finish it off. Wouldn't it be funny if we can finish this um, battle with just a schedule and a Zoomero? That would be so good. Um, you gonna make a move? Oh, there he goes. Alright. So I'm gonna swap with the Azumarill, and he's gonna be going for the... Bullet 
punch. If I stay in an earthquake, he would have gone down. I can see he has life orb. Um, life orb recovery, I'm not that great actually, but. Oh, it's alright, I guess. Um, let's see, he has bullet punch, sword stance, possibly close combat, and maybe another fighting type move. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go for waterfall because. Um, if he had. Oh, he goes for sky cut. That does a fair amount of damage. Considering um, how bulky Azumaru is, so going for the waterfall and that's just gonna completely destroy the Lucario because the car because uh, Azumaru is really really um, very very strong with the 120 days attack power. Um, not as strong as Eskudu, not as not as strong, um, not as strong as Eskudu, but um, it's still pretty good. All right, so um, going to Eskudu again, he's gonna go for Thunder Wave again. Now, I'm predicting him to swap me out into the scissor, so I'm gonna go for the sword stance and try to get. Um, oh, never mind, he stayed in. Probably. Oh no, it's because of foul play! It's gonna hit us really, really hard. Oh, that was a very dumb play on my part. Damn, that really, really sucks. But I um, guess we can go into the. Uh, how do? Damn, I. I really didn't see that one through. I completely forgot that Clefki runs foul play because <laughs> he copied my Clefki set. Um, should have just gone for the earthquake, man. Should have just gone for it. Damn, that really, really sucks. Because <laughs> Excadro has a very high base power, a uh, very high base attack power already, and with these sword stands up, that's just like the <laughs> attack power is just through the roof. Cast the foul play will do very a lot of damage. Um, I completely forgot. Damn. Yeah, I really have to um have to think a lot more before I make a move. This guy seems to be thinking quite a little bit. It's fine. You need a thing in a port in a barrel. Um, however, I really want to end this barrel quick. Um, are you gonna make a move? Because um, Thunder Wave is quite an obvious play. I I have nothing to do for. I don't know if, and if I even if I had, I wouldn't go into the Hound Doom right off the bat. Damn, alright, so, um, gonna be a Mega Hound. I mean, I'm gonna Mega go into the Mega Hound Doom. Going for Flame Tree, didn't go for Thunder Wave, which is interesting. Sorry, the part of the video was Um, so basically, he used the, um, ah, basically, the, um, Craft went down the picture. It's very weird that he didn't go for the Thunder Wave, because, um, if you got the fully full paralysis, you could have stalled me out with the swagger and uh, spam foul play until I go down. Cause I don't think Houndoom has that great defenses either, although I think that uh, foul play does damage according to the attack power only, so defenses won't really matter. Anyways, let's go for the overheat and this should be the scissor down to the. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Oh, it's a crit, okay, never mind. So going for the overheat and that's the end of the game. So GG. Um what's his name? Um Rise 800. Um, okay, I guess. He wants to go again. Alright, alright, I'll, I'll I'll accept one more, just one more. Um, I'll send. Actually now let's do rated. Wait, is Latias banned later? I don't think so, right? Oh yeah, for Corona has banned later. Um... Okay, let's do this. Um, what did he start things off with earlier? The Hydrocon, but what is he gonna go into now? I'm not really that sure. But let's go into the Azumaru right off the back once again. Uh, I'm not trying to over predict here, because... Uh, Um, Dream Punch. Right, it's gonna be leading things off with the Lucario. That's pretty interesting. I, um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Let's go for the Waterfall against the Lucario and try to take it out in one hit like previously. It's gonna go for a reversal. That worked really, really well with the Focus Sash, but you did not have Focus Sash, you have left Life Orb. And uh, you have full HP, so that's really not going to do dog poop. Um, and that's the Lucario down to a waterfall from the Azuma Rail. 
So yes, five Pokemon left. Um, yes, this is going to go in Scizor. Um, let's go for the Waterfall against this. Actually, we could swap the Escadrille because um, Escadrille is actually gonna tank that pretty well. It's gonna go for X Scissor, which we resist, and uh, we're gonna take nothing from that. Waterfall is gonna hit um, decent, do decent damage. Um, because he has like uh, leftovers. Um, should I go for the Aquajet? I think Aquajet can take it out from here. It's gonna go for a Bullet Punch, which is okay. Um, it's gonna be hitting harder than the X Scissor did because it's a neutral hit, and it's just gonna go down to the Aqua Jet. So that's that down. Um, I'm not sure what he can go into now. He can go into Vocal now. I can just Aqua Jet that. He can go into the um Clef Key. I can swap the Escadrille. He's gonna go into Lucky Yard. So I can just play rough this. So I'm not sure he has done the but um, I guess we'll find out, right? Uh, hopefully you don't miss the play rough. Uh, hopefully he doesn't kill us with the... Actually, he probably will. Uh, we won't be able to survive a Thunderbolt from a Mega Latias. He's gonna go for Psychic. Not sure if we can lift this. We just tanked out on 20 HP. We're gonna go for play rough and it's just gonna take down the Lati us. So that's that down. Um, don't really want to use anything other than my... Um, I, don't, I don't really want to lose a single one of Pokemon, so... He's gonna go to Hydrogon. Um, you know what? Let's try this. I don't want to let my um, Azumarill die, or my um, I don't want to let any of my Pokemon die, so I'm gonna go to Heart. Alright, he's gonna go for Dark Pulse, which we resist. I doubt that uh, um, the Azumarill will have tanked that. Um, not even barely, because um, he, because Azumarill has some. Uh, Azumarill is low on health, and Hydrogon is very strong on the special side, so. Yeah, I definitely want to try Hydrogon myself. It's quite a good Pokemon, uh, but it's a little bit meta. But I kind of like the typing of Duck and Dragon. I might add it to my next team. In fact, I think I'm yeah I'm gonna train one. Uh, probably give it Flamethrower, um, Earth Power for the Algas, Flamethrower for Ice types. It's gonna go for Fire Blast. With the Life Up, not gonna be enough to take us out. But I believe that the Oh shit. Oh shit, no no no. I'm not going down to this guy. Um What should I go into? I think I'm gonna go into this. Cause I Oh I really wish I didn't miss that so I can just swap into Escadra and finish off the Clef key, that'll be really really good. It's gonna go for Bug Bus. Dude! That makes no sense. Okay then, um I have no idea what this guy is doing but Swap out into the um, Azumaro and uh, Akajet this, and he should be taking himself out with the Life Orb, or we can just finish off right here. And after we swap into Escadrille, Earthquake, and that's that down. I don't think a foul play can take down our Escadrille from, from full health. It might get close to taking us out, but definitely not gonna be enough to take us out. I think, I think. Um, there's nothing you can do, dude. Let's make a move. Right, so going for that Aqua Jet, and that's going to take down the Volcarona. So his last Pokemon is the Klefki. Klefki really can't take down a whole team by himself. It's been so long since I've gotten a Klefki sweep. Kind of want to get one again. Um, in my early days of using Klefki, I got multiple Klefki sweeps. It's not even funny. So going to the um, let's go into the Escadrille here and just finish it off. With the earthquake, um, foul play. Okay. Um, yeah, as you can see, Escadrille has a lot of attack, a lot of attack. So the smallest play here would to, would to be go, was was to go for the swagger. Even Iron Defense was a better play, but he chose to go for the foul play. All right. So um, let's that down. Um, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, these two battles. I'm sorry that I'm not be uploading recently. Gonna try to upload a lot more this week and next week. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um comment down with video on the bell me, I'll just have to improve the quality the quality of my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.